Hey you guys, it's Blender Helix Alpha, or uh, Gray Walker, and today I'm going to be uh, doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a uh, third person shooter setup in Blender. So yeah, um, I learned how to do this a long time ago, and um, ever since then I've just been growing at Blender, and uh, I'd like to teach you guys how to do it. So we start off with the default. Um, set up in Blender, we just open Blender and we're gonna delete our camera and our light space add mesh plane and um, just as a note I'm gonna be going a little bit fast here we're gonna size that up with S I'm gonna be going a little bit fast here um, so yeah We're going to color this a uh, darkish area, or a darkish color by um, going to this tab and then clicking add new, and then doing that. We're going to make this brighter, or no, I'll tell you what, we're going to make it green, so we can make it, we can tell it's the good guy. Make our plane a little bit bigger. We're going to make, we're going to right click our character, go to logic, make it dynamic, bounds box, make him an actor if he isn't already. We're going to start by giving him controls, um, add a sensor, add an actuator, and add a, or I'm sorry, add a sensor, controller, and actuator. Link them up. Go to your sensor, make it a keyboard sensor, make it W. We're going to go to motion, and since this green arrow is the y-axis and it points positively, we want him to move forward on the y-axis while we press W, which is forward. So it goes X, Y, Z. So we're going to go Y, 1. We're going to press P to see if we did it right. looks like we did but it's incredibly fast so what we're going to do is 0 0.05 see if that's a good speed it looks like it is a good speed so what we're going to do is add another actuator and make this one negative 0 0.05 for backwards we're going to make another controller and we're going to make another sensor, we're going to make it a keyboard sensor, and we're making it W, or S. So it'll be going backwards and forwards now. Alright, I'm actually going to make the forwards a little bit faster than the backwards. So we're going to make it 0 0.08. Alright, so now we have uh, basic movement and we're going to make it where the player can turn so we add another another one of all three we're going to link them up make the keyboard and make it A um, and, say, and we want him to rotate uh, whenever we press A on the negative Z axis rotating so X, Y, Z, we're making a negative 0 0.1. See if that's too much. It's actually positive. So I'm going to make it positive that. And it looks like it's almost perfect. We're going to make, we're going to tone it down just a bit. Make it 0 0.7. Oh, I'm sorry, 0 0.07. So that's perfect. What we're going to do is, is add one of these. Make it negative 0 0.07. Add a controller, link that up, collapse this, and make this D. So now we should be able to move around the map comfortably. Um, our cube is moving around and we can fall off. So that's working, but we don't have a camera and that's kind of annoying. First I'm going to add a lamp. It's going to be a spot. 
Again, I am going pretty fast for a beginner, so if you don't know how to do how to use Blender very much, go to my previous tutorials. Um, there are beginner Blender tutorials on hotkeys and all that stuff, like S and R and all that good stuff. So we have uh, basic lighting, just a little lamp working for us right now. We're going to model a um, basic ramp to test out our physics to make sure they're exactly how I want them to be I'm gonna control J that so we don't have any um, physics issues we're gonna press P and it looks like our ramp is working perfectly alright so we're gonna space add a camera and we're going to move our camera behind our character and we're going to rotate it on the x-axis to where it's behind the character now usually in other tutorials what you'll see them do is just parent it and I'll show you what this does um, so if I go to my camera I can parent it and my camera does follow the character but it's very ugly and uh, it doesn't have any fluid movement or smooth follow at all. So what we're going to do, let me make sure I'm still recording because I've had some problems with my recorder recently. So yeah, everything's working perfectly. So instead of just parenting it, which is kind of a lazy way to do it, we're going to um, put some logic on the camera to where it follows our character. So what we're going to do is make a sensor, a controller, and an actuator. Make our actuator a camera. We're going to select our player and actually name him player by going to the F9 tab or editing tab that I'm on right now. Going to OB, colon, and changing that into capital P player. We're going to go back to the camera, go to logic, type in player. So that now, that now is coordinating to this thing. We're going to link up this and don't change anything else the sensor is perfect so basically we're telling it to always follow the player using the camera and if I have this correctly what we're going to do is change the X to the Y make the minimum I'd say let's try 5 at first and the maximum 10 height I'll just put it at 5 press 0 on our numpad to go there let's test out what we have that's almost completely perfect almost completely perfect so um, we're going to turn down our height because the angle is down so what I have um, for my current setup is the height is 2.0 minimum is 5 max is about 8.5 so um, as you can see we have a basic movement set up for a third person character controller um, already set up so it's uh, getting good progress and this ramp is working so what we're going to work on next is jumping okay we're going to go to our controller collapse all of our stuff we're going to zoom out by uh, holding control and wheeling out. Um, add another sensor, add another controller, add another actuator. Make our actuator um, XYZ. We're going to move positive on the Z axis. So make that 0 0.08 we'll try. We're going to link up all of this and make it a keyboard and on spacebar. So we can go to our camera and test this out. Looks like it's working pretty well. Looks like it's almost perfect. So I'm pressing spacebar and jumping around. So that's pretty cool. Um, what we're going to do now is a little bit more in depth. And let me see how long I've been recording. Cool. Um, we're going to make a cylinder.
and just press OK. You're going to size it up and then size it down on the Z axis. Basically what we're going to be making now is a springboard. So if you step on it, then it springs you forward, kind of like a platformer game. So we're going to just make that cylinder there for looks, and then we're going to duplicate that. Actually, we're just going to make another cylinder. Um, press OK. Size that down on the X, size it up. And then we're going to press 7 so we can see properly. Size that down. Carry it upwards. Basically just making it to where it fits on top of that right there. Alright, so we're going to make it a sensor controller or an actuator on this object, this springboard, not the base of the springboard, but the top one. And make it where on collision of player and and uh how collision works is it collides into a property or anything with a property. So we're going to um, be top properties here. So we're going to right click on our player, uh, go to logic, add property, name our property springboard, make it one. And then we're going to go back to our thing, type in springboard. So if this collides with this, which has a springboard, property. We're going to connect these. If this has, if this collides, it's going to play this animation. We're going to make a timeline. So go to our timeline, right, right click split screen, timeline. And uh, we're going to animate this. So I locate rotate scale. And we're going to go to, I'd say, uh, frame 8. And then move it upwards. Uh, I locate, rotate, scale. See if this is fast enough. Not fast enough. So we're going to make it 4. See if this is fast enough. So. Um, we're going to use that animation for now, so we're going to go to our actuator on the springboard, go to IPO, make it start at 1, make it end at 4, and make it just play it. Um, yeah, that's good. So we're going to try this out. So, movement's working, movement's working, we're going to jump on our springboard, and it works really well, actually. I'm very surprised on how well it works. But, what happens is, it only springs up and then it stays there. So, we're going to have to solve that problem. And I think how we do that is flipper. Change that to flipper, Let's see if I'm right. get on top of it. Fail. Alright, looks like it's working. Looks like it's working perfectly. We're going to color this red just for looks. So yeah, that's the springboard. I'm going to go ahead and end this part of the tutorial. And um, I will see you on part two, where we learn how to do moving platforms and bridge making and attachments and power-ups. It's going to be fun. So see you there.